Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about difference between hash table versus dictionary. Microsoft.NET Frameworks provides excellent support for working with collections. Collections are used for storage and retrieval of data. You use collection in your application to allocate memory dynamically to stores elements and then retrieve them using key or index as and when needed. Basically, a collection represents a set of objects that you can access by iterating each of the elements of the collection. So, hash table is a weekly type data structure. So, you can add keys and values of any object type. When you try to access non existing key hash table, it gives null values. Hash table never maintains the order of the stored values. Hash table needs boxing and unboxing, so it is slower than dictionary. Let's uh, open the Visual Studio and check the first actually difference. Create a new project. Console application, just write down the name. And this just create that hash table, hash table. So it's coming to the under the system the collection name is fish. So OBJ has table. First of all, difference is. Hash table is a not a strongly typed. Just like example, if you will try to add, because hash table is a key value pair, so here you can see that here it's an object. Object key and value also is object. So you can write anything, just like if you like write a key A and value is that I mean, right? Next one will be if you want to write like a 2 and value will be if you want to write like this. So you can, you can see here, here I am writing that string also as a key and integer also as a key because it's an object. The same like if you will look in dictionary, sample dictionary is a strongly typed. So it's a, you can see here, here is the T key, T key and t value means like it's a generic type so here if you will write like a string and a value will be also a string so make a object and if you try to add value like in this one add you can see here it's both the case it's asking that you have to add a string only this key will be also a string and value also a string. So if you try to enter that integer and if a value will be string, so in the compile time you will get that error because it's index you have to enter that string value, but you are trying to enter that integer, so you are, will get error. So you can say that first difference is that hash table is a not generic. Uh, it's a not a strong type, but dictionary is the strong type. There is a one difference. Now we can see that one. What's the uh, second difference? <coughs> Just if you we'll enter that here, three, two and three. So now if you want to get value, just display that value. So how you will get with that key? Use of key. You have to write that one that two. So here you need to cast always because uh, it's a integer. So you have to know because first you will look that one. Okay, this one is that first of the two and you will get that value three because uh, you know that one key, if key is that integer and also value is also integer. So you have to cast in hash tables. 
because you don't know because it's an object type. So you, in an object type, you will get that value. You have to cast first. Just check that value. What it's coming. Let's run that one. Okay, here. See, here yeah, you are getting that 3. Again, if you want to get value with the use of key of 3, so you will not do like that because again it's a, a string value you are getting. So if you will do that with that integer, so check with this, you will get that error because here that casting is not correct because it's, it should be in string. Now you will check that value. Same, Same way if you will look that uh, dictionary, dictionary is an integer, integer, if you will do that here integer and a string so now it's okay now change again same thing we can write like a p integer now let's see that one it will try to write function with the use of object see here you are getting that error because key always will be integer. See, integer key should be integer because here you already mentioned in the dictionary key is the integer. So if you will try to write that one string, so you will get that error. You can see that if you enter that two. So no need to cast because you all knows already that is a string it will return always a string because it's a not a object type so you will you will get that string value you should get the value you have to press the to see i mean and subject you are getting because of the enter you I'll mention here console.50. If you will remove this and you will try to run, so you will get that Amit and Sanjay. So, no need to cast here this required because you already know that one key it's a string value will be string always. So, it's a string, but in the case of hash tables, you don't know that what value type it will return because in the hash table it's taking that object. So, that's why you have to cast because of here. If you will look clearly, it's a Happening that one boxing and unboxing is happening on this. In unboxing is boxing and unboxing is happening because that's why it's a performance. If we check with my performance, it's a slow. But dictionary is the strong types, so there is a no boxing and boxing is required. So because of that, it's a fast. Now we'll check that one. How we can check that if key or value is exist in hash table or not. Just on you have to write that one. Just make a condition if hash table dot contains key. There is one method. So you have to pass here key. So what key if you are looking? Just if you are look that a, I mean if that key is exist or not. So just write down key which exists. Let's comment this one and comment this one. First, we'll run that one. See, key is exist. Now, you, how you will check that one value? Same way, uh, like I mean, this one is a value. So, here it will become like a contains value. So, you will check with this method that contains value and contains key if uh, that key or value is exist or not. So we have to write here value. So run that one. That both will exist. If, we, if I will write here a one, so let's check because this one will not come. 
we will write that one else condition just if you copy e is not exists not exist just run that one see key is not exist so with that help of the contents key and contents value you can check that key and value is exist or not so let's check the defense see here dictionary it returns error if we try to find a key which does not exist and uh, dictionary it is a faster than hashtag because there is no boxing and un unboxing we already seen that once because uh, in the dictionary is the strongly type and hash table is not a strong type only published static member are threads and dictionary is a generic type that's a sort of because a uh, dictionary is asking that one it's a generic type it's a you have to first you have to mention that what types you want just like if you want a key should be string and value also should be string you have to mention one while creating that object but uh, in the case of hash table hash table is a not generic type so because it's taking that object or because of that object you have to do that it's required that boxing and offspring because of that it's a slow and both of the, one thing is common that is that uh, it's a key value pair so it's uh, if you will check that one uh, if a return type also that one that it returns null if you will try to find a key which does not exist so in the hash table the types in, in the system dot collections name space store data as object of type object hash table represent a data structure that can store object as key value pairs you can search for a value in a, an instance of hash table class using the corresponding key note that uh, note that uh, both the key and value that is stored in a hash table instance is of the object type So let's see one more thing we can see here. We can, if you want to display that data, like first we will delete that one. So how you will you will display that all the data? This like this one. That add one. Just how you will display that one that you can use that for each loop and just write down that case. If you write, then you will get all those. Things. See, for and one more thing you can see here, we have mentioned that one here. That that is hash table is not a way to display because here I have added that one two three four, but one while running it's not an order way. It's coming like a four three two one. Same way you have to display that one, that value also. If you display that value, you have to just enter that values. See, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, in the, once you see that one, once I run again, see, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, you can say that hash table never maintains an order of the stored values means like that uh, which way you are storing that value that uh, it, you cannot expect that same value it would be displayed so here you can see that first uh, I have stored like the 1 2 3 4 but it's displaying like a 4 3 2 1 now we will see with uh, that dictionary so just create the object of dictionary integer and string so obj dictionary equal to new 
dictionary. So now we are going to add, I think we can add that same data like this. So just, just change that one. Now we will use that for each group. Dictionary dot keys. Just commented out this one. Dictionary is up. And here hash table. So now we will display, we will print this one. That console dot line item. Now you will see here that one because here I am getting that keys value from the dictionary. So we will see that this one is coming in sorted order or not. In same order or not. not. Just see the dictionary example it is coming like a 1, 2, 3, 4. But in the case of hash table it is coming 4, 3, 2, 1. Same will check with uh, a value also just copy this one and paste the side on values I print that one see one two three four one two dictionary now you can say that one dictionary maintains an order of the stored value but hash table never maintains an order of the stored value there is one more difference like that I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.